Here we go again, with someone quoting a political media source about a scientific question. Which reminds me of some recent research by social scientists, revealing that low-quality, extremist, sensationalist and conspiratorial news published in the US was overwhelmingly consumed and shared by right-wing social network users, according to a new study from the University of Oxford. So of course they lap up denialist claptrap from people shilling for the fossil fuel industry. Helped by the fact that most of them know zilch about science, scientific method, or critical thinking. They think, analysis, is like Sunday school, where the teacher presents you the conclusion and your job is to search the scriptures to support that conclusion. Which is fine for Sunday school, but it's a terrible thing to try to apply to something empirically accessible, like climate. Let me, for the gazillionth time, quote the consensus of actual scientists. The overwhelming evidence of human-caused climate change documents both current impacts with significant costs and extraordinary future risks to society and natural systems. The scientific community has convened conferences, published reports, spoken out at forums and proclaimed, through statements by virtually every national scientific academy and relevant major scientific organization, including the American Association for the Advancement of Science AAAS, that climate change puts the well-being of people of all nations at risk. Surveys show that many Americans think climate change is still a topic of significant scientific disagreement. Thus, it is important and increasingly urgent for the public to know there is now a high degree of agreement among climate scientists that human-caused climate change is real. Moreover, while the public is becoming aware that climate change is increasing the likelihood of certain local disasters, many people do not yet understand that there is a small, but real chance of abrupt, unpredictable and potentially irreversible changes with highly damaging impacts on people in the United States and around the world. HTTPS colon slash slash what we know dot AAAS dot org slash get dash the dash facts slash and over 87% of the AAAS's member scientists concur with the leadership. The level of agreement is over 97% among climate scientists. The timeline is, global warming caused by human greenhouse gas emissions and other human factors was first broached in the 1820s as pure speculation. Over the next century we gained the tools to measure what was going on. By the 1970s tools, methodologies and computer capabilities enabled climate scientists to reach a tentative consensus. Late in that decade, scientists working for the big oil companies came to the same conclusion and communicated that to their bosses. The bosses did what bosses do, launched a PR campaign to deny truths that missed reduce short-term profits. At the same time the consensus of the general science community was building, and by 2005 all the major science organizations were on board. However, at the same time the fossil fuel industry put its denial campaign into high gear, following the model of the tobacco industry in previous decades, using the Heartland Institute to put out fake science to delude the public, a specialty it had honed doing likewise for the tobacco industry. By now the fossil fuel industry has spent roughly a billion dollars on this delusion campaign, which has been especially effective on Republican voters, who appear to be less anchored to reality than others, as the research I cited at the top of this answer demonstrates. It owns a political party, guess which, along with over 100 AstroTurf websites, i.e. ones set up and run by the industry but which pose is coming from, concerned grassroots citizens. It's a little stunning that anyone in 2018 has questions about this. But at least half of Americans do, mostly the Republican half. Note that one of the Trumpublican administration's goals is to muzzle the EPA, NASA, NOAA, and silence those Earth-facing satellites that keep telling us inconvenient truths. Truth is very inconsiderate, sparing no one's feelings. No wonder so many Trumpublicans have given it up for mental soda pop alternative.